<laughs> Watch quick, because the most interesting part of this build is over now. <laughs> Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm Don Broken Brain Wellborn, and this is we're building Bat Manor for the upcoming Hunger Games I'm Batman Challenge for March 1st, 2017. Yeah, I think the most uh, interesting part of this build was doing the bat wings. <laughs> but because it's a very utilitarian uh, build. I mean, it's there for function, not for form. It's not it's not there to look good it's there to be used you know so uh i didn't really put a lot of effort into prettying it up i just made it so that we could use it for this challenge and make it as 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 um mundane and boring and cerebral as possible because you're not supposed to be in a good mood while you're doing this challenge you know it's not you're not coming here to go sightseeing. <laughs> You're coming here to die, okay? You're coming here to either be the Batman or die trying, so... So I didn't believe we should make it so pretty pretty, <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, yeah, so how's everybody doing? I am doing good. This build has been done for a while, but I didn't want to put it on... I didn't want to put it on the net until after I got the walkthrough done, which I got done yesterday, finally. Oh my god, I never realized how boring of reading voice I have. Oh, terrible, terrible boring reading voice. That's why my, my kids would always ask me to tell them a story and not read them a story. <laughs> I can't say as I blame them, you know. Uh, I used to uh, go into their rooms with, um, I'd bring a drawing pad with me when I went into the rooms. And I'd, uh, there used to, uh, used to be a really good show on with, uh, Alan, uh, Alan Stevens, I think his name was, he used to, uh, they used to read books uh, from the library, and he'd draw one picture while the, uh, while the, uh, the announcer was reading it, and, uh, it, it was always, I always loved the show, so I used to do that with my kids, and go in and, uh, draw a picture while, while I told the story. And, uh, it, uh, they liked it. Yeah, they, they enjoyed it quite a bit when they were younger. I mean, not so much when they got older. It's so, like, Dad, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, excuse me. <coughs> so, yeah, you know what? That got me thinking, uh, about, uh, you know, when I was listening to my reading voice and everything. And it got me thinking that I haven't done a, a painting in Don's art in a long time and I think I'm going to do a painting sometime this week or next week as soon as the uh, as soon as the Hunger Games calm down a little bit and I get a few things under my belt and it's already done and stuff like that uh, I'm going to do a, a painting and uh, and um, the painting I'm going to do is uh, an old story I used to tell my kids uh, especially my girls was uh, about a unicorn that each year Sorry, guys, I got a little lost there. But a unicorn that eats your happy giggles while you're sleeping. And he brings you happy dreams uh, to make you giggle while you sleep. And, and the tickles you feel on the end of your nose that wake you up in the middle of the night and in the morning is his mane because he hovers over you while he's eating your giggles. And uh, I, I, used to, I used to draw uh, Stargazer, which was the name of the unicorn in the story, uh, for them all the time. So, um, I think what I'll do in the uh, donsart.com uh, is I'll uh, speed, uh, speed paintings, is I'll, I'll do uh, Stargazer for everybody and I'll tell the story. I'm not going to tell you the story now because that will ruin it, right? You won't watch, uh, you won't watch the speed, uh, speed painting, so. <laughs> I'm such an ass, alright? <laughs> you have to excuse the glass of water, guys. I'm just getting over a sore throat real bad. So, uh, I'm just trying to stay liquefied. <laughs> and not with my favorite liquefied, either. I'm actually using H2O with no additives. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> so, um... 
Yeah, like I said, it's very utilitarian build for this Batman. I mean, it's it's it is function, not form. I really didn't do much to make it look good, and uh, I realized that yesterday while I was finishing up with the um, with the walkthrough. To I don't want to call it rules because it, it's not really rules. It's how the game is played. So uh, that's why I called it a walkthrough instead of the rules of the game and. Uh, so, yeah, so I, I realized that yesterday when I was doing the walkthrough that, my God, these rooms are boring, you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I'd leave a picture of a room up while I'm explaining that particular, either that part of the mansion or that that particular uh, genre for the area. Uh, so, and I, I was looking at the pictures while I'm reading this, and it's like, oh my god, this is a boring room. This is a boring picture to have up for three and a half minutes, or, or four minutes. This is a very boring picture. And going back, there's really nothing I could do about it. So it ended up to turn out to be a very necessary, but very boring video. And it's, uh, it's almost like going to work and having to listen to a friggin' presentation, you know? <laughs> So, it's, it's like, the, that's what I equivalated to, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. This is the only place in the, uh, in, the spe in the mansion that you can actually get food, is at this little table. See, I didn't want to put any fridges or stoves anywhere, or even barbecues, actually, anywhere in the mansion, because I knew the Sims would try to make themselves food. But if you have to buy food, you have to tell them to do it. They don't go and order food on their own, like like for these tables and stuff. So that's why uh, I put, I, I don't even know what they call these, like buffet tables? I, I put these buffet tables uh, there's one here and there's one in uh, in Don's personal quarters and even though Don's you know, a 10 star chef <laughs> and he's had many a restaurant and a successful restaurant, uh, I don't dare put a kitchen in there because I'm just afraid that somebody's going to get through the locked doors and actually be able to get food out of the kitchen. So um, this is a, this is an idea that I'm building here that, that it's called the Love Shack and it's sort of like a fan appreciation thing. And I don't know if it's going to go over well or not. Um, what I had an idea of doing was having, you know, fans do like a, a, a fake auction, you know, like bid fake money to see their favorite heroes or a hero and some skank we've put in the game <laughs> so, uh, to come in and woohoo for, for make a five minute video of them getting along <laughs> and uh, putting it on uh, putting it on the channel for everyone to enjoy like and it, the, you'd uh, you'd set up an auction under the episode, you know, like, uh, I bid 25 bucks to see, uh, Adam West and, uh, Alicia Silverstone get it on or woohoo in, in the Love Shack, you know, and somebody would either outbid you and name two other people or agree with your bid <laughs> and add to it, you know, so, um, and at the end of the 24 hours before I did the next video and if I haven't uploaded the video already, then I will make a, uh, or even if I had uploaded the video, I will make a five minute video of uh, Adam West and Alicia Silverstone getting into hot and heavy <laughs> in the fan appreciation love shack and upload it to YouTube and say thank you to the winning uh, YouTuber. You know, I put their logo up and, and, their, and their name and, and say, hey, thanks, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing the game and thanks for bidding, you know. Because it doesn't cost anything. It's fake money, you know. I, I mean, I'm not going to entertain stupid bids. Like, if somebody comes in, I, their bids for, like, $25 to th 30 sim bucks, 40 sim bucks. And then somebody comes in, I bid 1 million sim bucks. Well, you know what? You just ruined the game, buddy. So, you're not, I'm not even going to acknowledge your, your bid, right? So, that's the way I'm thinking of playing that, right? So we leave it up there and see if people like it. If people don't like it, if they're appalled by it and say, how dare you pimp out the Sims, you know, how dare you become like a sugar daddy to these Sims, you know, that are supposed to be heroes. Well, 
It's called The Hunger Games. I mean, did you not watch The Hunger Games? I mean, <laughs> I did. That's that's kind of the take I got off of The Hunger Games. <laughs> you know, here I am. I'm building Dawn Suite right now. Uh, I changed the walls up a little bit, and that's eventually uh, I, that I do do a series of doors you have to go through to get into the suite. I think it's three doors to get into the suite. Mm. Sorry for the water, guys. And um, it's three doors to get into the suite, I believe, by the time I'm finished. See, I started off putting a kitchen in here, and I thought, no, that's probably not a bad idea. And then I turned the fridge to the wall, and I said, nah. I kept humming and hawing, and eventually I just took it all out and just put in the the um, the server table there. <laughs> I just had the name of it a little while back. You know, I should really watch those uh, mental improvement videos that they have on YouTube. I really should. <laughs> Improve your memory. Yeah. Yeah. It's just when I, I get all tongue-tied when I get on camera for some reason. I don't know. Whenever I start recording my voice, I get all tongue-tied. I can't even look to the uh, to the right of my screen. Like, uh, my right, your left, <laughs> I guess. Uh, <clears throat> because I've got the... Uh, I've got the recorder there, and uh, I, I just don't want to see the bouncing circles or bouncing balls to tell me that I'm being recorded, because if I do, it gets me all tongue-tied. So that's why I try to avoid that. The only problem is, <laughs> I've got a crooked eye, and it goes right to it. <laughs> so I tried moving it around, but still, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's so I can see the build, I've kind of got it there in the... In the well, it's 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 my right hand corner, so I don't know what it is to you guys, but it's my right hand corner. And it's just covering up the <coughs> excuse me, the right hand corner of the build. So, because if I minimize it, it shuts off once in a while. And I I talked with that with the e, e, um, Evander, uh, yeah, Evander on uh, on YouTube, and he had the same problem with his recording shut, shutting off all the time. Well, he's doing speed builds, and he does amazing speed builds and everything. And uh, to have to do an amazing speed build, and then then have to do the recording over top of it two or three times because your recorder shut off, you know, that's that's annoying as hell. So that's why I've always done my speed build, and then I leave my recording over top of it just a little bit so I can see the speed build, but I can still see that my recorder is still recording because... I believe, like, I was a network engineer. I don't know, and, and it was, this was a long time ago, guys, so I don't know how computers work now. I can't, I couldn't tell you. But I, I do know a little bit about computers and how they base basically work. So, uh, well, you know, old computers and how they work. I know a lot about old computers, actually. <laughs> but <laughs> at... Um, it comes down to the CPU sharing system. Like, when it, if something is, um, if you have one core CPU or, or even dual core CPU, things get shared between the two. Okay, and if things uh, like something that has to stay constant, like a recording, you know, gets shared, it actually can't get shared, so it gets cut off. So, and that's why you're. You, that's why I believe the recording system shuts off if you minimize it. So and I explained that rather briefly to Evander, and he seemed to like it. He seemed to agree with me. So, so that was that. Yeah. And again, I am silent here. You know what? I really got to do that thing where you write down things you want to talk about while you're doing the recording so that way that really bugged me having to do the rest of that row with that one crooked flower did you guys see that that was a lot longer than it showed here okay that was like almost three minutes that i had to deal with that crooked flower <laughs> and it drove me nuts <laughs> yeah so yeah this is i as you can tell this is the next morning because I have a lot more energy and I'm actually making the place a little prettier. <laughs> so, it's like, uh, okay, you know, it looks, uh, 
it be functional English, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't look pretty at all. So let's pretty it up a little bit, you know. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. Let me pretty it up a little bit. We don't really change anything. We just pretty it up. And I don't know. I put a fountain in here, but I, I think I, uh, I... Well, I know I take it out, but uh, I don't know if it shows in the speed build that I took it out. Because even after the end of the speed build, I'm still not completely, completely finished. I do put a couple of things in, like a, um, I put a massage table in the in the um, uh, uh, healing waters uh, reward, uh, which is the hot tub area, and uh, and I put an apple on in the garden area at the back of the mansion because I forgot to put an apple there. <laughs> And then I, I fool around with a couple of different floor designs here before I finally, uh, you know, like yard designs, rocks and stuff like that until I finally decide on what I'm going to go with. You know, I kind of like that, but the thing is it makes everything else... I mean, if I did that for the whole ground before I did it, that would have been okay, but... Um, I. I think I keep it. We'll see, we'll see. So yeah, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. <laughs> yeah. And we build the paths and uh yeah. That's my favorite reward is the Starry Night, which is a camping reward because it's the only place well it's not the only place, but it's the only place that uh has both food and a shower. How's that? Yeah it is. It's the only reward that has both food and a shower. Like, and it, actually, it's the only reward with a shower. <laughs> there is a punishment that has a shower, so you can be nice and clean before you're dead. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. See, that's the fountain I was telling you about. Don't worry, it doesn't stay. I don't, I don't keep it. I do keep the willow tree, though. though. I, my grandfather had a weeping willow in his backyard when I was a kid and I just loved it. It was a hidden hideaway uh, to get away. Hey Don Broken Brain Wellborn here. I went too long so I will tell you about my grandpa another time. This is uh, this is the Bat Manor speed build and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Don Broken Brain Wellborn and if you'd like to see more of my stuff, check out the right of this screen. Always fun stuff on my channel and just like a good band, third row of my playlists are always for Mad Props YouTubers. So go check them out. So like, subscribe and please comment. I read them all and try to answer most, but at least you can count on a thumbs up or a heart. And I'll see you in the next video.